The 25,000 acres of public open space protected by McHenry County Conservation District since its inception by voter referendum in 1971 represents an irreplaceable legacy to be cherished, safeguarded, and passed on to future generations of county residents. These lands constitute a natural heritage of woodlands, prairies, wetlands, streams, agricultural lands, and buffers that afford habitat for native plants and wildlife, clean and filter surface and groundwater, provide for clean air, promote healthy outdoor activities, connect county citizens to the natural world, and inspire the heart and senses with an opportunity to experience the beauty of nature. Public lands afford each of us, regardless of the basis of our interest in nature, the opportunity to develop a greater awareness of our role in and our responsibility for the total community of life. And in doing so, to adopt a conservation ethic, compelling us to assume a moral duty to become more educated about conservation issues and to act on that information. Additionally, these lands include sites and features of important native and cultural value, allowing the citizens of the county to connect with and learn from both the historic and prehistoric past, enabling them to move into the future with a strong foundation and a clear understanding of how the past has influenced the county's growth. Accordingly, we the delegates to the first McHenry County Conservation District Congress in McHenry County, Illinois, assembled, acknowledged, and believe that the public lands of McHenry County, protected by the McHenry County Conservation District, are an irreplaceable natural and cultural legacy that should be passed on to future generations in sound ecological health for public use and enjoyment for their own intrinsic value that the varied recreational uses and user groups of these lands should be bound together by a governing principle, that all such uses will have their common goal, the ecological health and long-term sustainability of the public lands upon which such activities are carried out, that differing user groups should be united in support of the larger goals of protecting the public lands of the district from misuse, environmental degradation, resale, transfer or conversion to other uses that could destroy or diminish the ecological, cultural, historic, aesthetic or recreational values for which they were preserved. That a healthy and vibrant civil society requires that citizens of the county have opportunities to enjoy these public lands for recreation, education and contemplation, and that such opportunities be accessible, available and safe that the non-human components comprising the natural heritage of the county such as natural wildlife, native plants, waters, and natural communities be considered as a recognized constituent group for which McHenry County Conservation District has a responsibility to provide both a voice for and stewardship of in decisions relating to the use of the county's public lands. That farmland, orchards, nurseries, grazing, and other compatible working landscapes provide an opportunity for successful and innovative long-term conservation partnerships between protected public lands of the district and such working landscapes benefiting both while providing citizens important ecosystem services. That working partnerships between conservation agencies, governmental and non-governmental organizations, health providers and recreational user groups are critical to the long-term future of McHenry County Conservation District public lands and that such partnerships should be encouraged, developed and fostered whenever possible. That existing funding for land preservation, recreational access and outdoor education should be considered a regional and national conservation priority. And that continuation of programs that provide such funding should be of concern to individuals, organizations and user groups that utilize McHenry County's public lands. That a personal land ethic should be cultivated and all those who enjoy and utilize the outdoors encompassing not only wise use of the legacy represented by public lands, but a personal and moral responsibility that encourages involvement in their long-term protection and stewardship. That such a land ethic requires of those who enjoy today's opportunities to utilize the public lands of the county to recognize such enjoyment. And such use requires a personal commitment to intergenerational equality between current and future generations yet unborn, that we may bequeath upon them a healthy landscape and they too may come to appreciate and cherish. 
that a land ethic should also include among its highest forms of commitment to introduce young people and diverse cultures to the natural heritage represented in McHenry County Conservation District public lands and to the public lands in general. That the governance of the McHenry County Conservation District shall continue to offer county citizens of all walks of life an opportunity to serve in an unpaid and voluntary trustee position, allowing them to become directly engaged in a conservation leadership capacity, and that any changes to that form of governance shall be done in a manner prescribed and envisioned by the Conservation District Act of 1963. We, therefore, representatives of the 1st McHenry County Conservation District Conservation Congress, assembled, deeply aware of the trust placed on us by future generations for the safeguarding of the county's natural and cultural heritage, and our responsibility to intricate an ancient web of life for which we are stewards, do solemnly publish and affirm this fundamental declaration of conservation principles, and for implementation of the tenets embodied within this framework, we pledge our mutual support, enthusiasm, and ethical conscience to the preservation and integration of McHenry County's open lands, agricultural areas, trails, wildlife, waters, and scenic beauty.